Hello all and welcome back to app for you In this particular video, uh, we will be discussing a problem from greedy algorithms, right? So, basically the problem states that we need to optimally merge a given set of sorted files, right? So, this topic is from uh, greedy algorithms, so I have picked up this topic So, every day I will be coming up with a new topic and a new problem based on that topic, right? So, today I have picked up greedy algorithms and under greedy algorithm, I will be discussing optimal merge pattern a very important problem for greedy algorithm so what is basically the problem statement now basically the objective in this particular uh, problem statement is that we are provided with a list of sorted files right so what we need to do is basically optimal merge pattern is a pattern that relates to the merging of two or more sorted files in a single sorted file so basically we have a number of uh, sorted files basically a file of size 2 which is sorted a file of size 3 which is also sorted a file of size 4 which is also sorted file of size 5 which is also sorted file of size 6 which is also sorted and suppose a file of 7 file of size 7 which is also sorted now as per the optimal merge pattern as the name suggests we need to come up with an optimal approach to basically merge them into a single file so basically this file is sorted this is also sorted all these files are sorted in itself but now we have to combine them into a single sorted file single file right so basically you can see you have to combine all these files into a single file but you have to ensure that these are sorted now what are the different approaches that we can basically follow right to basically merge them into a single file now if we just uh, go on with a random approach then what we can do is basically suppose uh, suppose we have two three four five six and seven so i have two three four this is basically file size okay five six and seven done now what happens is basically we need to pay attention to the definition of uh, cost now basically the cost of merging is when you're trying to merge two files of size n and m then the cost of merging will be order of n plus m right so we can ensure that okay the cost of merging will be the sum of the size file sizes okay so suppose we have two sorted files containing n and m records respectively then they could be merged together to obtain one sorted file in time order n plus m and this is what we will consider as our cost cost of merging right so basically it depends upon the file sizes now suppose we have to merge this file into a single file so i will just do a random approach random approach in the sense suppose uh, i'm interested to take these two first so i'll combine them 6 plus 7 which will be equal to 13 so right now i have incurred a cost of 13 now suppose i'll combine this and this file now this file is again 13 this file size is 5 so i'll pick this file and this file and combine them and now the cost becomes 18 this is the cost of merging these two files, okay? 5 and 13. Now, suppose I will take this and this file. The cost becomes 22. Okay? So, 6 plus 7, 13. I got this file. Now, this file I tried to combine with this file. I got cost 18. Now, this resultant file I combined with this file. I got some 22. Now, suppose I will pick up this file and combine it with this. I will get 22 plus 3. The cost will be 25. Okay? I hope you are following and suppose now I picked up this file and merged with this file now you know that the cost will be 2 plus 25 which will be nothing but 27 right so what is the total cost in this approach the total cost by this approach is nothing but some of these things right some of the cost that was incurred at each merging step so basically 13 plus 18 plus 22 plus 25 plus 27 so let us try to add them up so basically 13 plus 18 will be equal to 31 right this is done this is done 31 plus 22 and uh, 22 plus 25 will be 47 this 2 is 47 done and this is 27 so we have 7 plus 7 14 plus 1 15 5 and 1 plus 2 3 plus 4 7 plus 3 1 0 5 so this is basically the cost of merging by this approach so you can have different approaches of merging you can either start with 3 and 4 then combine it with 2 combine with 5 there are many possibilities right but we need to come up with the optimal approach so let us see what is the optimal approach now suppose suppose if i follow a technique wherein now please remember the cost that we incurred right now that was 105 now supposing i am using an algorithm for merging the file such that i'll pick two smallest files at each step so initially i have two three four five six and seven suppose so i will follow an algorithm such that at every time while merging i'll pick up the two smallest files so right now two smallest files are two and three so i'll merge them two plus three gives me five right now again the next two smallest files are 
4 and 5 or you can take this 4 and 5 so same thing suppose I took these two files 4 plus 5 gives you 9 now again in the third step I'll take two smallest files right now so right now the files present are 5 9 5 6 7 so next two smallest files are sorry right now the file presents are 9 5 6 and 7 isn't it because initially I had 2 3 4 5 6 7 so what did I do this and this was merged into 1 that is 5 again 4 was merged with this particular 5 so I got a new file that was 9 so right now I have this file this file this file and this file so the next two smallest are basically 5 and 6 right so I will merge them 5 and 6 into one file which will give me 11 the cost of merging right in the point so now right now I have again 9 11 and 7 as the files so which two small are the smallest files so basically 9 and 7 are the smallest files so I will take 9 from here and 7 from here and I'll merge them so 9 plus 7 will give us 16 this is the cost of merging these two files right now I am left with this file and this file these two are the smallest files present now means these files are al already used in merging now I am left with this file was also used here this file is also used so now I am left with 11 and 7, 16 so basically these two files are going to merge and they are going to take time 27 right the cost of merging 27 so if I ask what is the total cost of merging in this case so in this case what was the approach in every step of merging what I was doing is picking up the two smallest elements right initially I took 2 and 3 5 then again I found the next two smallest elements are 4 and 5 I picked up the sum is 9 so now my file contains 9 5 6 and 7 so I took the next two smallest that was 5 and 6 merge them into 11 now the next two smallest are basically 9 and 7 merge them into 16 now I have 11 and 16 so merging them into 27 so basically total cost was nothing but 5 cost of merging here 9 plus cost of merging here 11 plus cost of merging here 16 plus cost of merging here which is nothing 27 so total is equal to 5 plus 9 is 14 14 plus uh, I think this is 11 yeah. 14 plus 11 is 25 25 plus 16 plus 27 so basically we get uh, from these two 52 plus 16 which is nothing but 68 so, so you see using this process using this particular algorithm wherein we were picking two smallest elements at every step our cost was found to be 68 whereas in this particular case the cost was found to be 105 so basically we can find out now you can take any combinations okay any combination of files and merge try merging them you'll find that this will always be the optimal this is the always the optimal solution that is if you follow this approach wherein at every at every step of merging you are picking the two smallest files okay then your cost will be as minimum as possible so we can see that the total cost in this case was 68 this was the cost of merging but even randomly one of the random approaches gave me cost 105 so obviously that is not preferred what we are going to prefer we are going to prefer this particular algorithm wherein we will be picking two uh, minimum element at every step and then the file that we are getting okay again we will take into account in the next iteration right like suppose initially I am taking 2 and 3 I got 5 now this will be my new file so while finding the next two smallest elements this file should also be considered into them right so I got 4 plus 5 9 now again while considering the next two smallest element I should consider 9 5 6 and 7 and find out the minimum from these two so I got 5 and 6 so considering the data structure that we are going to use here basically no doubt min hip min hip will play a crucial role in solving this particular problem because we know if you are aware of the uh, structure of min hip how min hip actually works so the min hip the structure is such that the topmost element will always be the you know the smallest element right and that is the parent will be always uh, smaller than the children the value at this node will be smaller than the children right this nodes value will again be uh, smaller than the nodes smaller or equal to the nodes in this two uh, in the children nodes child nodes right so basically uh, you must be aware of how min hip actually works so we are going to use min hip for this particular problem because we know that min hip the extracting the two minimum elements will be very easy while using min hip right so if you follow this particular optimal merge algorithm you'll find that extracting we are going to extract two minimum elements at every uh, iteration right so for that purpose min hip will play a crucial role it is very easy to extract the elements from the min hip and then the new element that is found after merging these two again you have to push it back to the min hip okay so min hip will play a good role let us see how can min hip actually help us to solve this particular problem now if you are going to use min hip so in stl library basically we need to uh, use this particular code for that purpose so let me just uh, erase the screen so considering stl what happens is basically this is the syntax for using the min hip so if you want to implement min hip 
if you want to create a minip so basically we need to use this particular syntax for creating the minip it's very important and rest everything will be same as we will discuss right now right so this is the syntax for creating the minip so please keep in mind this now we are going to implement the minip so how things are going to work let us see so all right let us now quickly jump to the coding part so without further delay let us open the coding environment fine okay so we are going to now perform uh, optimal merging okay optimal merge now this is a function the main function the driver code which consists of the number of files as input and this has also uh, this also consists of the array which consists of the file sizes okay so these are basically sorted in itself a file size of 2 file size of 3 file size of 4 5 6 and 7 respectively we need to merge them into a single file by a optimal technique so what they have done is basically they are asking the support of this function minimum computation so minimum computation has been provided with the value n which is the number of files and the array which contains the number of uh, the file size the file size basically okay so we have two things the number of files present and the file size of each files now using these values we know that we can basically achieve the optimal merge value the cost of, of optimally merging them so what should we do now whatever we discussed so far we are going to discuss the same thing okay we are going to uh, follow the same approach so let me just uh, increase the size of the screen great so what was the approach so basically as i said i am going to use min heap here so for using min heap what is the command so basically i say priority queue sorry priority queue and i'll be using uh, i'll writing integer right and uh, vector integer right and what else so we have uh, just now let us see the code um i think uh, i hope i'm not forgetting the code so following this particular syntax okay integer comma vector int comma getter int right so it's fine now so integer comma vector int comma we have greater int and name of the pq uh, parity queue pq fine so this is basically the syntax of creating the minip our minip is created now what we need to do is basically we need a variable i okay what will it do it will basically file for i equal to 0 i less than size i plus plus whatever are the file sizes given i will be using them to construct the uh, the minip or the priority queue so basically i am going to push the those things pq dot push file of i into the priority queue so automatically we will be having a minip with those file sizes a minip will be created with all the file sizes so pq dot push file of i this will basically create our minip now we know that what we have to do basically we will say while the priority queue dot size is greater than 1 as long as the size is greater than 1 we are going to pick up two smallest elements from the first two smallest elements from the heap so that is why i am using a variable integer first it will basically what will it do it will pick up the pq dot top now what does pq dot top do pq dot top will basically refer to the topmost uh, element okay of the queue and then i will do pq dot pop so we are not going to write pq dot pop directly integer first equal to pq dot pop that will not work because we have already discussed in the previous video that just removes the element without returning anything but we want something to return we want the value to be returned so that is why first of all better access the value by by using pq dot top and then we can go by removing the topmost element now integer second the second most uh, smallest element again pq dot top right and we write again pq dot pop So we have already removed the topmost smallest elements. The values are stored in first and second. So we know that now we need to merge them. So merging cost will be basically we will be using another variable temp integer temp, which will be equal to first plus second. So this is basically nothing but the new file size of temp. Now we also know that this is the merging step. So basically cost is equal to the size uh, the size of this file temp because this indicates the cost of merging, isn't it? and we also have to declare the variable cost here so integer cost equal to 0 done so now the cost of merging at uh, every time we are keeping track in this particular variable cost this will continue now one more thing since we have created a new file temp equal to first plus second okay so this also has to be a part of the min heap now so for that purpose i am going to push it again into the min heap 
So basically PQ dot push temp. That's it. This process will keep on repeating until the PQ size is as long as the PQ size is greater than one, right? And finally, we will just return the value of cost, right? So just now we saw this example, right? We discussed in the presentation that two, three, four, five, six, seven. The optimal cost was found to be sixty-eight. Let us see if it's working fine. So somewhere, I, okay, this is files basically, okay, because I'm receiving files here. So let me see. Okay, this is a function. So basically, PQ dot size. You have to do this. So these are silly mistakes. You need to be very careful. Yeah. So minimum computation takes sixty eight. So I hope uh, it is visible. So this is basically the minimum computations that it has taken. So by this approach, basically, we can say that uh, the optimal merge pattern works, right? And you can basically optimally merge the files into a single file using this particular algorithm. The data structure that we used was min heap, and time complexity is basically order of n log n, right? Basically, min heap takes order n log n in this particular case, right? So I hope the video was helpful. Uh, that's all from this particular video, and that's all from my side. And in case of any doubt, please put your doubts in the comment section and just like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.